Since it first went on sale in 2003, the Mazda 3 has become an absolutely vital product for the Japanese automaker. In fact, over the last decade, they've delivered more than 3.5 million of these cars, and on a global basis, it accounts for more than 30% of the brand's sales. 30%! That means almost one out of every three Mazdas sold is a 3. But now the company is in kind of a tough spot, because how do you update such a wildly successful product without, one, alienating existing customers, and two, potentially driving new buyers away? Well, the answer to that is you do it carefully, very carefully. And the company has been extremely meticulous with the 2014 Mazda 3 here. Engineers have scrutinized and optimized every panel and part on this car right down to the nuts and bolts that hold everything together. It's all a part of their Skyactiv suite of fuel-saving technologies. Now, as before, the car is offered as either a four-door sedan or a five-door hatchback, so you've got a choice of body style. Additionally, two engines are on the menu, excluding the high-performance Mazda Speed model, of course. The base power plant is an improved 2-liter Skyactiv 4-cylinder. It delivers 155 horsepower with 150 pound-feet of torque. These numbers are very similar to what's offered in today's car, but engineers have boosted mid-range torque, so it's more responsive. For extra grunt, a 2.5-liter four-banger is also available. It puts out a muscular 184 horsepower with 185 pound-feet of twist. Again, these numbers are appreciably better than the outgoing 2.5. Now, a version of that engine can be had with Mazda's IE loop system, which is their capacitor-based regenerative braking technology that actually improves fuel efficiency by around about 5%. Two Skyactiv transmissions are available, and both have six speeds. You can choose between a crisp-feeling manual or an efficient automatic. Speaking of economy, this is where things get really confusing. With two body styles, two engines, and two gearboxes, there are enough build combinations to fill a 20-page Excel workbook. But keeping things simple, the most efficient flavor is a four-door sedan with the two-liter engine and an automatic transmission. It delivers 30 miles per gallon in the city and a whopping 41 on the highway, clocking in with a combined score of 34 mpg. Hatchback models and cars with the manual are slightly less efficient, as are versions with the 2.5-liter engine. Suffice to say, the 2014 Mazda 3 is more miserly than Ebenezer Scrooge on Christmas. Of course, solid engineering is absolutely mission critical, and of course the new Mazda 3 delivers, but it's typically not something that gets the new car buyer all giddy with excitement. Styling is what counts, and as you can see, this car is smoking hot. Thanks to the brand's Kodo design language, which means soul of motion in Japanese, the 2014 Mazda 3 is probably the best looking car in the C segment today. There is a lot of sophistication to its design, and it almost doesn't look like it's a compact car. It is that upscale. It's got something Mazda designers are calling cab rearward, which sort of takes some of that visual weight of the body and shifts it to the back, and this thing almost has rear-wheel drive proportions. Aside from its sexy exterior body, the interior ain't too bad either. The new 3's cabin is just as elegant, with an abundance of soft, low sheen materials just about everywhere. Now, interestingly, designers were not actually benchmarking other C-segment cars. They were looking much higher, targeting products from companies like BMW and Audi. Yeah, they were going that high, and it really shows in this interior. But not everything is perfect in here. The navigation system, for instance, I am not a big fan of. Sure, the interface is easy enough to use, but the display itself looks like a total afterthought, almost like they ran out of space and couldn't integrate it into the dashboard, so they just stuck this iPad-style screen on the top. Not very nice. It features a touch-based interface, but you can only use it when the vehicle is stationary, while underway there's an iDrive-style knob on the center console. Kind of weird. 
Now, aside from the navigation system, there is one other thing about this Mazda's interior that I'm not terribly fond of, and it's up here in the instrument cluster. There are some pretty cheesy looking digital readouts. Come on, guys, you can do better than that. How about a nice analog gauge? So out on the road here in the 2014 Mazda 3, this car is every bit a zoom zoom Mazda because it drives really well. The steering, for instance, although electrically boosted, is really tight and it gives you a, just a great idea of what those front tires are doing as you carve through some of the mountain roads here outside of San Diego, California. Now, the ride is a little bit firm, which is also good for handling because it helps keep the car flat as you're going through those corners. So of course you can't have a good driver's car without a good driving position and the three delivers there as well. The seat, very comfortable. I'm an even six foot tall. I fit very well and I have plenty of headroom even in this model that has a sunroof right here. Also the steering wheel is nice and chunky, easy to grab, makes this car even more fun to drive. Now the car I'm in right now has the optional 2.5 liter engine and this thing pulls really well. It's flexible around town and it gets up and goes out on the highway as well and it's pretty quick. That 2.5 is good in the Mazda 6 and the CX-5 but it's great here in the Mazda 3 hauling around a smaller, lighter car. Now that's not to say the base 2 liter 4 cylinder is anything to sneeze at. It puts out 155 horsepower as I mentioned earlier and it's perfectly adequate for day-to-day -day driving. It really gets the job done. It's smooth running, super efficient, but if you want a little extra get up and go, the 2.5 is going to serve you better. Now this particular test car here is equipped with the optional Skyactiv automatic transmission. It's a pretty slick gearbox, it's smooth, it's fast, although on a couple of occasions around town I did notice it was slightly clunky, but you know, with the fuel economy and performance it's delivering, I can't complain. This car is an absolute blast to throw around on these twisting mountain roads and it really lives up to Mazda's slogan, if it's not worth driving, it's not worth building. The 2014 Mazda 3 is a tremendous upgrade to an already stellar product. Just like previous versions of this car, it's got a great body. It's awesome to drive. The interior rocks, plus it's built for the long haul. But one question still remains. How much does it cost? An entry-level four-door model, stickers for a little less than $18,000, including $795 in shipping and handling fees. The five door kicks off at a skosh less than 20 grand, again including destination and delivery charges. These prices are very competitive with other C segment cars like the new Toyota Corolla and, of course, the Honda Civic. So the 2014 Mazda 3 goes on sale in September, as in this month, like right now. So if you want to test drive one, check it out. Visit your local Mazda dealer, and with a laundry list of virtues like this car delivers, why would you even consider? another C-segment car. For more on this review and others like it, visit autoguide.com.